Alright, we're going to go over some more Creo 2.0 changes that we're seeing if you came from Wildfire uh, Pro E5. So, if you look here at the middle of this little bar, that's where all your view commands have moved to. Um, we have these ribbons now, and these stuff in subsets that you can customize. So, th these are, um, this is a good way to tell if you're still loading a model that's pretty large. Um, if this hasn't shown up yet, you're still loading. Um, they don't have the clock. They used to normally see the big gray clock that doesn't come up anymore. Um, so one thing uh, I like to uh, configure the default setup um, to what I like. I'm not a fan of spin center being on or annotated display. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you guys turn those off. So with like all the other startup settings, um, you gotta go to configuration editor right there. Okay, so you can see I started up. These two were checked. So we can just search. So you know, if you don't know, it says Spin Center. That's the name of it. So we'll go Spin. We'll search. All right. So let's see what we got here. Um, so the first one will come up: Spin Center Display it determines whether or not the Spin Center symbol displays. So right now it's at yes, but if we change that to no, add change. Boom! Right there. Added it to our configuration editor. So now we're going to turn annotate off as well. Alright. Display annotation. Um, it looks like it determines whether or not annotation are displayed in 3D models. It's checked. So we're going to go tell it no. Add change. Okay. So now we got all that stuff there. Then we're going to click OK. We're going to save our config.profile. That's what's asking us here. Say yes overwrite. Alright, so now you can see it unchecked it. Um, so let's restart real quick. And let's see. Should change. Alright, let's make a new model. Is anything there? Uh, and look at that, it's unchecked. So, there you go, that's how you turn off those default settings.